Welcome to Miked Up Magic with Austin and Caitlin. You are listening to episode 5, our top 10 Magic Kingdom must-dos, where we will be discussing each of our top 10 things we like to do, eat, or see in Magic Kingdom. We hope you enjoy! Woohoo! Let's do it. Let's do it. We're getting into the top 10s, baby. Yep. We're going to do, obviously, all the parks, but we had to start, obviously, with Magic Kingdom. Oh, of course. Um, First, we will discuss the elef- elephant in the room, which is... We are in a different in a room. different room. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, you will see... Guys, you're not in your normal spot. Truthfully, we were like... Well, I said, I want to be comfy today. Yep. So... Here we are. This is a much more comfy situation. It is. And it won't be in everything, every every episode situation, but we were like, let's just set it up. We'll try it out today. See how it is. I like the idea of sitting here. I will say, though, we might pick up on some extra audio because our little kitty cat, Ellie Girl, may be running up and down the stairs like a maniac. Um Cooper is probably going to try and rearrange himself about 17 times on the couch. So you'll probably hear him. You might even hear our neighbors. So, yeah, you know, it may be a little more echoey. I'm not like we're going to have to just kind of yeah. see. This is the, the, the test. It will be fine, but mm-hmm. we'll see kind of which way we prefer. We really just wanted to be comfy because yeah. it's a long weekend for us. Happy Easter. Yep. If you guys are listening to this on Monday, um, but it's a long weekend for us. And we're like, we just want to be comfy. So. That's where we're at. We also, if you're watching on the YouTubes, we both have a little Magic Kingdom mug going on. I have the old You Are Here mugs. And this is the 50th mug. 50th anniversary. Yep. Mug shots courtesy Tyler and Jessica Braun. Tyler and Jessica Braun. The Disneyville podcast. All right, guys. So let's get into some news. Last episode, we failed miserably at bringing news to you guys. And obviously, it didn't really matter because... Obviously, there was nothing really that exciting, so it's fine. But let me tell you, there has been some exciting things happening in the Disneyverse um, in the last two weeks, basically, since we last filmed. Um, so we got some news for you. I think I was the only one that brought news to the table today. You got it under control. <laughs> so I did bring four news articles <laughs> to you guys today. Breaking. Breaking news. Breaking news. Not actually. Okay, so obviously you guys know we, or if you don't know, I guess, we are huge t- pin people. We love pins. We love Disney pins. Disney pins. Disney pins is life. Like, we love. So, there is quite a bit of exciting Disney pin news that is coming. So, pin trading is back in full force. So, April 7th, cast members will start carrying pin lanyards again, as well as new hidden Mickeys were teased in the social media posts that Disney Parks uh, posted on their socials, obviously. Um, but yeah, so if you are somebody who only has recently started going to the parks within like the last five years, um, or no, I guess like four years since COVID, basically, yeah. they had taken away cast member park cast member pin trading so cast members used to always almost every cast member used to have a pin lanyard or they would have like a little hip pouch with some pins on them um and you could go up to those cast members so there was just so much more pin Mm -hmm. trading in the parks right yeah um sorry the cat is causing chaos um just because like they change it so that you would have to only go to the specific locations and those specific cast members had like the little boards or whatever those were the only ones but yeah this is like literally any cast member can just have a lanyard and you can pin trade with them yeah well i don't know if they're going to give it to every cast member starting off if they're just going to start and do like a couple cast members at every location uh we don't know the logistics obviously of it but if they're bringing it back in the same capacity that it was then yes you are going to have so many more opportunities to trade so many more cast members to trade with so many pin options it's making me nervous though because we were trading like upwards of a hundred pins on our like frequent trips. Um, and that was just with regular boards. Like that was with like seven boards in a park. So yeah. now if we're going to have like a million cast members to trade with. We're going to be like, uh, 
<laughs> and all the new like the new hidden disney pins yeah so that was the other thing so there's new hidden mickey or d- hidden disney pins if you don't know what those are also because when i was talking to brianna she was like i never knew what you were talking about whenever you would say hidden mickey mm. so i was like oh true maybe if you're new to the pin game Interesting. so hidden mickey or hidden disney they go vice versa they used to be called hidden mickeys now they're called hidden disney's because they incorporate all of disney's entities so these hidden mickey hidden disney pins are pins that they only release to cast member lanyards or they're what uh you have a pimple patch on just yeah, in case I know. You, okay <laughs> last time you had one on when we went out you were like why didn't you tell me i have a pimple well, patch on it's just the people <laughs> i know i'm just i just <laughs> wanted to, to tell you because if you wanted to take it off or no i'm honestly just shielding their view from having a <laughs> okay. massive pimple in their face all right okay way to draw attention to <laughs> anyways, it Oz. anyways continue goodness hidden um, mickeys <laughs> hidden mickey pins so so yeah so they were originally le- released to cast member lanyards um or you can find them in the little silver right now is the color pouches um in the pin trading stores but basically it's just like little pin sets that you can collect and find um normally it's around five to six pins in a set and they just have a bunch of different entities so the ones that were teased in the um, and, and they all have like a little mickey oh, on like the actual pin side of it not or, on the, or an emblem because now they have like the marvel ones have the okay. marvel symbol so there's just like a there's like a little silver. emblem or symbol on on all of the pins um, to kind of like signify that it's part of that like set. In the, yeah, in in that mi- hidden Disney category. That was probably the worst explanation of it, but anyways. Maybe I'll just put a, an image of yeah, some Yeah, you, you'll, you'll see right, right here. here. Um, but yeah, so the ones that they were teasing, um, they included, looks like, um, new droid pins for Star Wars, ear hats, so like the little Mickey Mouse ear hats with like different characters on them um, which is kind of cu- cute um, they have new stitch pins which is going to be a hit um, there's new villains and Wally there's like a whole Wally set which I feel like is pretty cool because I feel like Wally is a pretty underrated par- character in the parks Yeah, for sure um, also I just know that when we go with your sister we're going to be hunting for those stitch pins like I just know it because yeah. his sister is like huge stitch girl yep and i, I was gonna say especially like with the um wally like he is underrated but he's also very underrated with like merch like there's not a lot of even pins like there's not a lot of different options for well, that's what i meant like wally even in the, in the parks like yeah. any any anything in the parks it's very limited yeah um okay so also sticking with the pin with the pin options here with the pin news um there's a new disney pin section in the co-op at disney springs did you know this? I did not. Did you know see this. this? No. So you know, in the co-op at Disney Springs, they have different little sections. So they have like a Disney pets area where all you can find all pet stuff, and they have like art and they oh, have all that yeah, kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. They have a whole new Disney pins section. So they have all Ooh. the new trading pin bags there. They have like tons of Disney pins there. Um, a lot of mystery boxes and mystery bags. It looks like from the pictures that were uploaded um, to Disney Pins blog, but. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is that co-op is very close to the pin trader store. That's what I was just going to say. And I'm like, are they taking away the store? Like, I'm petrified that they're going to take away the pin store. They can't. Yeah. Like, they can't. Hmm. Yeah, because that's what I was going to ask. Like, do they have different stuff in there? But No, it's all the same stuff. I just feel like, though, like, they do that, like, with the co-op. Like, they really make it, like, one little area, one little area. I don't think they're going to take away the pin store because the pin store has every pin you can possibly get. Yeah. And this, and for, this pin area isn't that big. Yeah, and for people who aren't in the park or just go to Disney Springs, like... I'm sure that they like they want them to have pin options to yeah. be able to buy pins. Yeah, exactly. So, so I, I don't think they would take away the store, but you know. Yeah, I don't know. I just I said that like I was like, are they taking the pin trade away? Please say no because I want to keep it there forever. It's the best store. Um. Okay. So also there are some new critters announced for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which Ozzy didn't actually hear about. I mentioned it to him a couple days ago, and he was yeah. like, I didn't know about this. Um, but yeah, they're capitalizing on plushies of these characters as well. So they uploaded a picture. What? 
We love a plushie. We love a plushie. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, they uploaded a picture online or a, a se- series of pictures. They showed us all the new characters of like this little band, essentially. That's what it kind of looks like. They're going to be this new little critter band. Um, and so far they've teased three of the plushies. So they look freaking cute. But the little characters are, okay, the first one I really don't know how to pronounce its name, but it's by Halia. Um, and it's a beaver. He looks like he's either dancing or singing, mm. possibly. Gritty um, is a hare or a Gritty. rabbit with a license plate. He's like playing the license plate. Oh, funny. Bo is an opossum on the cello, question mark. In the, in the drawing, it looks like he's playing like, it looks like a butternut squash as a cello. Like mm. it looks pretty cute. Nice. Um, and then we have Apollo, who is a raccoon playing the accordion, I believe. Um, Rufus is a turtle on the harmonica, which is very cute. Nice. And Timoleon, I'm pretty sure that's how you say this name. And he looks like a badger, an otter. I really don't know. Um, and he's playing the violin question mark. Mm. I don't know the picture. I was like, I, I really don't know, but hopefully Ozzy was putting all those pictures up as uh, we were going through there. So yes. you guys can also see how cute they the are nice if you're watching. Big space right here. Um, but yeah, they're very cutie. I'm so excited for this ride to open. They keep just teasing little bits and pieces. And I'm just like, please, please, please open up soon. And yeah. I mean, I feel like they're going to be open by our trip. But like, you never know with Disney. They might just push it. But I'm just like, please, 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 please. Yeah. Please. We mentioned last time, like cast member previews. We I saw more pictures of more cast member previews of... No, they haven't been. Pre- yes. No, those have been those have been Imagineers. They've been testing. Oh it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I didn't mean. Yeah, I meant like I just meant people riding it. So there has been people riding it like during but it's op- operating been, hours. Yeah, it's been like it's been like it's been like um they're they're in like safety the vest. vests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're definitely it's not ready for cast member previews anytime soon. I don't think. But well, I mean, if they're riding the ride, I think it's a pretty good sign. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just hopeful. Yeah, I know. I think it'll be I think it'll be up by the time we go, but hopefully. All right, the last last little tidbit here I have, which last but not least, but maybe it is the least out of this grouping. New buses. Did yes, you see this? Yes, I did <laughs> see the new buses. I was going to show you them, but then I, f- I think something like we started doing something and then I forgot to bring yeah. it back up again. Yeah, so the new buses, so Disney's putting out Eight, 90 new buses um all over disney property and they're coming with new wraps mm-hmm. so the buses are wrapped again we'll pro- probably throw some pictures up here um but the buses are wrapped with different different disney characters which is really exciting so they said in their post it's including zootopia orange bird and more mm-hmm. the zootopia one looks so cool it because does. it's like the characters from zootopia in a bus like yeah. that's what it looks like from the like outside the, yeah the windows are wrapped yeah. On that on the real bus and it looks like the characters but, like no, inside the, whole bus the bus. Is wrapped. No, I know, but I'm saying like they put it the characters like, in the spot. Yeah, it looks like they're in the windows. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm like so excited for that one. And then they showed a Remy one too, and I don't know if the Remy one's new or not, but it I don't I don't recognize it, so maybe it's new, but either way, I love the new buses that they've been doing, like with the wraps and stuff. I think it is so fun. Like I love an old like you know, I love a vintage moment. Like I love the old Disney buses for sure. But I just think the new ones wrapped when all the different characters is so fun. Like when you're sitting waiting for your bus, you're like, who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Yeah. Oh, there's Figment. Oh, there's Peter Pan. Like, yeah. I don't know. They're so fun. And the same thing with the Skyliner too. Like it, it's it's just, it's very, yeah. it's fun to just, I, I don't know. The wraps are fun. Yeah. I mean, the Skyliners, we like to get the plain I ones because you can say, see out of them better. Yeah. But it is fun seeing them yeah and it's fun i was also gonna say though too with them putting out 90 new buses i wonder if they're adding 90 buses or if they're like replacing 90 because if they're adding 90 who knows maybe that means that you're not going to be waiting as long for a bus at the end of your night you know like who knows they would also have to get bus drivers obviously if that's the case but yeah but yeah, okay, that's our Disney news. How much minutes was that? A lot? How time? much minutes? 15. 15 well, it minutes. It wasn't too bad. I was nervous I was going to take too long. No. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this episode. So today, like we said in the intro, we are doing our top 10 Magic Kingdom must-dos. Think the old school, your Disney, Disney must-dos, must-do Disney um, with... I I feel like her name was Stacy or something. Um, but she was on the old school like resort TVs and she would just 
you would have that on repeat when yes. you were at the room. As at soon the as you get to the room, you have to turn on her musties. Even though I already knew every single one of her musties, had to turn it on. So yep. we were like, let's do our own musties. So mm-hmm. Austin and I have each picked out 10 must-dos. We've lab- or listed them. Ranked them. Ranked, ranked them. them. I'm we like, what's them. the word am I using for? One to ten. Um, yeah. Well, ten to one, actually. Because one is the best. We're starting with ten, which is the least best out of the best. Yes. <laughs> what? We just, we just, you said the same, it's the same thing. I don't know, I'm just like talking. One talk- to ten, ten I just to like one. talking, I guess. I know. I don't know. It's fine. Hey, <laughs> car- carry me. Carry me to the end. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, so uh, we ranked them each. We each have our own list. So we'll kind mm-hmm. of just bounce back and forth and we'll talk about who, like we'll talk each one. If if I if you say one and I have it later or then do you want to just you talk about it and then I talk about it later or yeah. me chime into yours and say, I and then when like, it comes up to it, I'll just say like, this is my number. I feel like we can, I feel like we can do both. We okay. can kind of just see what, what. How the flow. Yeah, how the flow is, you know? Yeah, because I mean, I don't want to say all mine first and then you'd be like, I also have this one. You know what I mean? I feel yeah. like I feel like you can just be like, I have that, but later in my list. And I'll say, okay, perfect. And then when you get to your bit, you can be like, now it's my turn to talk about it. Okay, fair enough. You know? We'll just, just see how it goes. to break it up. Yep. Um, I'm curious to see how many things we have the same. Like, this, like I feel like a lot of our top 10 are going to be the yeah. same, but I wonder how many are going to be in the exact same ranking. Mm-hmm. That's, I'm, I'm curious to see. Yep. But... All right. Start it off. Let's get it into it. Let's get it. Let's get it into it. Let's get, get it, into it into it, it baby. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyways, continuing on. <laughs> Number 10, I have Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Interesting. Yes. Do you want to do you, do you expand on it? You want to tell me why you have it as your number 10? Um, okay, so I have a number 10. I mean, we'll get into it more, obviously, as I go up with reasons that I have the other ones higher. But this one, I think the... Just it being so short, which everyone, that's kind of everyone's always gripe with it is it's very short. It's fun though. Like the animatronics are really good. We well, like, remember, these are our top 10. Like you don't have to say why it's bad. You don't have to say why it's like no, your I'm number saying 10. why it's not higher. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, the animatronics are really good. The song is really fun. We always like sing the song and they're swinging our mind swing cart around. Our part. Um, I like the ending scene when they're in the, the hut and then the witches at the back. Like it's, it's a very cool and fun and like even the queue is cool but it's just i don't know it's it's short and it's 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 not a kid ride but it's like a advanced kid ride you know like yeah so anyways but it's my number 10 all right yeah do you want to know something shocking what it's not on my list i don't think that's shocking no no i it, feel it's like it's probably like it would be like 11 to 13 probably for your list yeah probably yeah so it's like we're, we're close yeah i guess so yeah it's like yeah i feel like seven doors mind train obviously it's good like i would say do it if you're going to disney world yeah. but i do think that it is a little overhyped but i feel like the lines are always so long for it because it is one of those coasters that little kids can go on like and it's fun and it's fun yeah, yeah. it's not it's not yeah like mom and dad are still gonna enjoy it when yeah. little little timmy wants to go on the roller coaster you know what i mean it's not like the barnstormer mm-hmm. where it's like timmy can go on but mom and dad are like yes this is stupid exactly <laughs> and i was also thinking while i was doing this like would i be upset if we didn't do it on a trip that was kind of like my mm-hmm. that was how that honestly that was how i was ranking them because yep. i was kind of going through like too. okay if i didn't ride this would i be more upset than if i didn't ride this and that was sort of how i was doing it um and i i do think that i would just be like a little bit like i, I would be a little bit upset if we didn't ride it yeah i agree because it's just like fun, you know, you just do do do. Yeah, I agree. So I agree. Anyways. All right. My number ten is the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Nice. Good one. Yeah. Yep. Do you have it on your list? I do actually. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Um, yeah, so the Festival of Fantasy Parade. I think this is one of Disney's better parades. I think Disney yep. has had better parades than this, but I do think it's really good. Um it's one of those ones where it's like if you go to Disney for your first time, do it. Oh. Again, all these things on these lists, that's kind of the the gist. Yeah. However, coming from somebody who goes every year, has gone multiple times, it's one of those ones where it's like if we're in the vicinity and the parade is about to begin, I'm like, okay, let's check out the parade. Um, but like 
I'm not if if we got to the end of the trip, I'd be like I wouldn't be like, dang it, we missed it because it's like I just know we're going back. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. What do you not agree? Oh, I I think it like I really like seeing that. Parade. No, I do. I no, do. I know you do too. And and I think that if we got to the end of the trip and we didn't see it, I'd be like, oh, like rats. Well, obviously it's on my must do list, no, but I, I'm no. just saying. No, I, I don't. Know. Every time we comparing go to, to the other ones you put higher, you wouldn't be as upset. Yeah, hundred percent. Every time we go to Magic Kingdom, I'm not like I need to like you know what I mean. Yep. If we're going to Magic Kingdom yep. four days of our trip, are we watching the fan- Festival Fantasy Parade every single day? No. Are we watching no. it at least once? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. That's where what I'm saying. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Yeah. Don't judge me for my list. <laughs> I'm not judging We're only you. On number ten. <laughs> I'm not judging you. Okay, go for your number nine, Ozzy. I think you're gonna be kind of surprised by number nine, but my number nine is the People Mover. So I, okay. I love the People Mover. Yeah. And that might some people might think that's low for my ranking, knowing that how much I like it. Other people I know hate the people mover, so they're they who don't. hates the people mover. I think there's a I think there's a lot of people who are just like indifferent about the people mover. No, they don't hate it. They're just very indifferent. Really, I yes. think people mover is a fan favorite. I, I think that's a weird take. So, any anyway, whatever. I Anyways, do. Maybe it's a weird take. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense. <laughs> but the reason I put it so low is because I think the thing with the people mover is it's like you go on the people mover to get like a break and 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 get the views and you kind of get to see different aspects of different attractions Mm -hmm. but doing the other attractions is like the the like enter the fun entertaining part that's like like the people mover is kind of just like an all-encompassing like oh like you get to see all this stuff at the same time but i would think i just i was just thinking about it going back to like if i didn't do it would I be more upset that I didn't do this or that I didn't do the actual attractions? Yeah. And I, th- I think it would be the people mover. Okay. Would be lower on that list. Okay. I, d- I love the people mover though. Yeah. No, I, I know. I <laughs> like know. The, it, Again, it, it, it feels weird putting it so low, but there is so many other attractions that didn't even make the say, list. So I was like. I was just about to say Magic Kingdom has like 50 something yeah. attractions. So it's like, like. Just the fact that it's on the list like shows enough of like, yes. how much I, th- I, I do like that uh, attraction. Yes. So. I'll touch on the people mover, but later. Okay. <laughs> All right. My number nine is drum roll, please. Space Mountain. Nice. I, you know, what's so funny. I think I like, I think I secretly like, I outwardly hate on Space Mountain. Cause I'm like, it's not as good as everybody says it is, but like, I love Space Mountain. I think it's so fun. Yes, it does rattle my brain a little bit. It gives me a little bit of a headache sometimes when I ride it, but I just think, I'm I'm like a very big nostalgia person and I just think like space magic space magic space mountain is pure magic to me like I just remember like my dad loves space mountain like my mom used to love space mountain I love space mountain I think it's so fun I like I really just love like when you're like you're going from a really bright atmosphere when you're walking outside in Magic Kingdom and then you go into space like you're like walking through the queue and like you get to the little you get to your little spaceship and you get in there and you're you're check 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 checking up the thing and then you like go into basically pitch black. It's like it's just fun. I just I I like Space Mountain. I also And again, like- I feel like I sorry, I just cut you off. Okay. I feel like it's one of those ones again that like I really every time people are like people message me and they're like oh we're, we're going to disney world like what do you recommend we do and um, i always say space mountain when we when i say magic kingdom go to space mountain go on space mountain i did not put space mountain on my list that is shocking to me yeah i know i know uh, you love space mountain I, I do love it would be 11 to 13 it's like that you, is so it's like you with funny train. i guess yeah i definitely thought you I, like space mountain more than i like mine train though and well i have a reason that i'll get into like Okay, further okay, down okay. on the list of why i didn't put it on okay but um yeah it would be like my 11 to 13 range i think all right oh i think that is there a different ride that's knocked it out for you like like just knocked it down yeah, a little bit yeah. okay that makes that makes sense that makes sense all right number eight so my number eight is the festival of fantasy parade hmm. yeah so we we were close we're, yeah we're not that far off no we're not the way you were saying it was like well i put oh, a no. number two <laughs> no 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 <laughs> So we kind of already talked about it. Like, it's just so much fun being able to see all the characters. Like, you go to Magic Kingdom and yeah. you get to see all the princesses. Like. Yeah. Most of them. For the most part. 
Like it's just it's it's the all encompassing like Disney parade. Yeah. Like classic Disney parade, yeah. yeah. And the floats are beautiful also. Yeah. Like in oh, yeah. Festival of Fantasy Parade, they're stunning. Like Rapunzel's ship, I think, is the best one it's in in my opinion. Pretty cool. Um it's very yeah, very good. So like that parade just like that parade's like a solid eight out of ten. <laughs> and the song is stuck in your head the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. For it's a sure. good song. It is. It's a very good song. Yeah. My number eight. Ready? Pirates of the Caribbean. Nice. Yep. I think, again, I'm going to say this for every ride that I put on here, but I'm like, Pirates of the Caribbean is true Disney magic. Oh, <laughs> I love Pirates. Pirates is so good. Like, I remember when we went on our honeymoon, mm-hmm. how many times did we ride Pirates? Like, <laughs> we 10 times. It's like 10 times. And Austin, towards the end, I was like, do you want to go on Pirates? He's like, no. <laughs> It was a little was excessive at that point. But it was one of those rides that like, again, it's like it was one of the opening day attractions. It wasn't even going to be. I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. It wasn't even going to be an opening day attraction at Disney World. But then everybody was like, what do you mean Pirates isn't going to be an opening day attraction? Because everybody loved it from Disneyland. Yeah. And they were like, you have to make it an opening day attraction. So they were like, all right, we're doing it. And like, we're big fans we of love the movies. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean so, movies are so good. Yeah. And like, obviously the it's good because they're based off of the ride but um yeah i just i love mm-hmm. pirates i think it's so good it's such a good dark ride it's like when, right when you walk into that queue it's like you're hit with that cold air you instantly feel the like smell. you're like in like that like caribbean like a cool breeze kind of mm-hmm. spooky but it's kind of not i don't yeah. know i really like par- pirates i think it's like one of the best boat rides at disney 100 percent. i agree that's it what do you mean that's it? Like you're like you're done. Yeah, for my that? pitch. All right, that's okay. my pitch. Yeah. No, right, hey, I'm just asking. So my number seven is Casey's Corner. Okay. Yours is hi- it's higher on your list. It's not on my list. Not on your list. Okay. <laughs> so my number seven is Casey's. I wanted to put Casey's on here because we just have like such a like Casey's is a staple on our trips. Yeah. For whether it's fireworks, like our dinner before fireworks, or we just stop and get it. It's like a two two times a trip, maybe two, maybe three. I would not even three. No, two. I would two say times one, one to two times the trip. And yeah, I, I, w- I actually I would say two. I would say we do it once for lunch and then we do it once as a dinner. Yeah, yeah. So I think I just felt weird not putting it on the list because it's such a staple of our our experience when we when we go every trip. It's yeah. the exact same, and like even just sitting when we do the one where we actually eat it at the the tables not when we do it for fireworks but when we sit and eat it at the tables like the theming is just so cool and then you get the guy on the piano playing like the songs if you're like if you're lucky enough to be there while he's out i think he's there most of the time yeah i'm pretty sure and it's just like a very cool vibe like it's it's very it feels very disney to me as well yeah um well you're right on main street you're like right in the hub and and then but like i couldn't put it like much higher because like at the end of the day, it is like hot dogs and yeah. fries, right? Like, that's fair. But I would be upset if we didn't have Casey's while we were there. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah. Okay. My number seven is pin trading. Now, this is going to be on every single one of my lists. So most of the lists, we were trying to keep it like specific to each park. But like realistically, I am doing this in every park. It is different ranking for me at every park. Like some parks, it's going to be way higher on my list than others. So for Magic Kingdom, it is number seven. Um, and it's solely for the pin trading, pin trading on Main Street and the Frontierland Trading Post. So the Frontierland Trading Post is like the pin store in Magic Kingdom. Um, it is like what i'm saying it's in Frontierland, um but it's just like my i don't know why it's my favorite because it's not even the biggest like pin spot you can get but it's just like so good and i just love going into that trading post i think that the pin board there is really good always is good because people are like opening their pin packs and trading pins and then also going through main street like walking through the emporium going through all the like whatever it's gonna be so fun when cast members have lanyards again too especially in the emporium because there's yep. so many cast members in the emporium yep. um oh speaking of that i just thought brandon's gonna get to have a pin lanyard hopefully i know that is so much fun Isn't for him fun i just like i don't know why that didn't clue into me but i yeah. hope i hope he can have one like, i know that would be so much fun for him Anyways. i know 
<laughs> anyway. Shout out, Brandon. So, yeah, that's my number seven is pin trading. I love pin trading, but yeah. Yeah, me, fair. So, my, I'm going to actually stick with food for my number six. I had back-to-back food locations. I have I have food for six, too. Sleepy Hollow. <gasps> me, too. Nice. Good job. <laughs> so, I had Casey's and Sleepy Hollow. Well, and I was, I'm so sorry, headphone users, for that screech. And, and I was thinking about it. and I, oh, I'll lower the volume when, for that part. Um, And just the fact of, like, that fruit waffle is so it's like different right like it's not just a hot dog and fries so i was like i can't put casey's over sleepy hollow yeah and the other thing is magic kingdom is so tough for breakfast like yeah, what are you gonna eat for breakfast at magic kingdom yeah it's yeah it's pretty Sleepy hollow just saves saves the day they do it's so delicious that that waffles fruit waffle and you have to also take into account if you are not somebody who likes a sweet breakfast because austin typically doesn't he typically does not like a waffle or a pancake on normal occasions no However, that fruit waffle, <laughs> woo, <laughs> woo, baby. I also just love the location the of it. The picture of it right here. It's so yeah. good. The location of the, f- of the fruit waffle is amazing. Of Sleepy Hollow is amazing because when you're rope dropping, like it really does just work into your plans so well, especially for us. Oh, like, yeah. Because we normally do like fantasy land, you know, then we walk down, we hit up the fruit waffle, we get some fruit waffle and then we go over to um, Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. Like that's quite literally the like route we take and it just works yep. out very well. And the only, the only gripe obviously, and I think I've touched on this in our uh, food episode, but the only gripe about it is that it's only outdoor seating because obviously it is a small quick service, Yeah. but those I, freaking fruit waffles are hey. so good. And like we said, like this is one of those things that like we, ba- that's like what we have when we go, like, I don't think we yeah. have any other breakfast when we go to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't even think that's really a negative that it's outside because it's for breakfast. Like it's early yeah. enough anyways. Like it, it still yeah. gets hot, but like it's not like you're going there at one o'clock in the afternoon. Um I mean you can, there is lunch there, but No, like, I'm saying that we've we never don't. had it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's funny that we had the same one. Yeah, we had okay, the same so spot. Do you want to do number your six first then? Uh my five, you mean? Because my six was that. Oh yeah, your five. Yeah, yeah your okay, five. okay. All right. So my number five is a ride. And it is peter pan's flight nice <laughs> um you just I, adore this ride i just love this ride again I, I, it's a nostalgia factor for me i think but i really do think it's like one of the best like dark rides that disney has like mm-hmm. it's just so cool like i just i also always remember when we went on it for the first time and like when you get on this ride like you're on a track on the bottom and then you kind of like take off and the track on the bottom kind of disappears. And I just always remember Austin's first time riding it. <laughs> he was like, whoa, like, where's the track? Where's yeah. the track? But it's just, like, so magical. And, like, I just love that it really does take you. Like, it's one of those, like, there's not many Disney, I guess. That's a lie. I was going to say, like, there's not many Disney dark rides that are like bringing you really into the movie but that's a lie because there are a few but yeah yeah. it really is one of the like og that like brings you into the movie that you're like the movie no it it does a very good job at doing that for sure and it brings you and it brings you through the story which i also like too like you start out in the kids bedroom and then you fly over london then you kind of do the whole thing yep it's very short, but I think it's so worth it. Like people, the queue is really good. The queue is so fun, and they yeah. redid it. They they redone it in the last like I want to say ten years, maybe even less than that. Um, but it's fun. You're like it's very interactive. There's lots of little interactive moments for kids. Like you're in their house. Like it's v- it's a very cool mm-hmm. queue for sure. Yep, hundred yeah. percent. But I I love Peter Pan's flight, and like I don't know, people might be like, that's crazy. You're putting that at number five, but. I think it's worth it. I think if you go there right at rope drop, it's worth it. Yep. Or late at night. Late yep. at night also is a good time to go. Yep. My number five is Tron. Yeah. Tron I, Light Cycle Run. I kind of I kind of thought you were going to put it around there. Yeah. Did you? Is it even on your... It, like, it, I don't think so at this it point. It isn't. It isn't. Yeah. It, it's... Yeah. It's not one of my favorites yet. So... It has to earn its keep. So this is where I'm going to get into the Space Mountain conversation. Which, I knew it. I yeah. knew it. So... The thrill aspect, like Tron just takes over Space Mountain for me. Yeah. So that's why I didn't want to put both of them because like it's just not, I'm just not going to put both of them on the list. Mm-hmm. And Tron is just superior. I, I don't care how short it is. 
it's supposed to be short. It's like a race. You're fl- you're flying okay. through. That's fair. I, I've never I've never heard that pitch before. Like that oh, it's, really? it's supposed like it's supposed to be short because it's, it's a race. race. You're you're flying that through the the whatever. Winning for Team Green is. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the movie. Green? I think that's why I don't really care about it because I'm just like I don't know any I might lore. Have just said the wrong team, but yeah, like I it, think it is Team Green. It's 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 fantastic. That launch is ten out of ten. The photos are pretty funny on it most yeah, of the time. Yeah, they do a fun little video too. Yeah, like the locker situation. I love oh, the lockers. Oh, the locker situation love is it. cool. Love it. Yeah. It's a cool. It's a, it's a definitely a good ride. And like I just don't have it on my top 10 because I'm just like there's just so many things that like again at Magic Kingdom that it's like it's hard to rank them, but yeah. um it would and be in my like 11 to 13. And people are so just grouchy for whatever yeah, reason about it. People are always grouchy. Because it's new and people are grouchy about anything that's new other than Guardians. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but Tron, like, n- I, I, I don't have any complaints about it. It looks so cool at night. Walking yeah. up to it at night with all the lights and the and the uh, roller coaster like coming from outside or from inside, outside, and then going around that loop. I will. It's so cool. I it will looks say, so nice. Sorry. <laughs> I will say, too, like, um, Disney was kind of getting into a moment there where they were just putting up these massive eyesores and Mm. you're like whoa 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 like disney that's not how disney runs like like disney really does a good job at like making sure that what you see is like beautiful and And what you don't see is covered and like really like when i'm looking over at tron and when i'm walking towards tron and when i'm in any other part of the park i do not think of the tron building like like i don't think of the tron building all I think about is that funky like oh, yeah. thing they have outside of it. So I think they do a, an insanely good job at hiding it well in Tomorrowland. Because like, I'm sorry, I love Guardians so much. But like the fact of how big and like just like, whoa, there's that building. Like you can see it everywhere. You don't see it really when you're in the park. Mm-hmm. But like when you're anywhere else, you can see that freaking building. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I love Tron and the Tron haters can <laughs> go away. I don't know if there's Tron haters out there. Like no, but people, people are just like, it, but they like to like kind of like eh, whatever. Yeah. Like Tron. All right. You people don't get it. That was your number five, right? Because I'm now ahead of you. Yeah. Five. Okay, so I'm on to number four. Sorry, that I didn't mean to cut you off on Tron, but no, no, that's that it. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um. All right, my number four is a little food item, a little mm-hmm. treat, if you will, mm-hmm. and it is a Dole Whip. And I am including this because I know you can get Dole Whips at like a bunch of different places uh, now. It's Magic Kingdom. Though. But it's Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Dole Whip is a Magic Kingdom treat. Like I don't get it when we go like I mean I've gotten it once when we went to Animal Kingdom and that was like because we got pixie dusted. But like oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah like I don't get it anywhere else. Like I get it at Magic Kingdom. Um, I love a Dole Whip. A Dole Whip mm-hmm. on a hot day is just peak happiness for me like the location of it is so good you can grab it you can watch the festival of fantasy parade you can grab it you can go sit outside of the pin trader store and then go and check pin traders out i can have it at any point of my day i can have it as breakfast lunch dinner bedtime snack like i love a dole whip i think it's so worth it i know a lot of people don't like i think a lot of people are like kind of jumping on this bandwagon of like dole whip is overhyped it's not good but like like i love a dole whip I love a classic Dole Whip swirl, not a citrus swirl, not the orange and vanilla. I like from Aloha Isle, a pineapple and vanilla Dole Whip swirl. Yep. Thank you very much. I think that would, we keep saying this, but that would be my 11 to 13. Yeah. Like that that just, <laughs> just missed out on my list. Yeah. If we didn't get a Dole Whip, I don't think I would be like too upset about it, honestly. They're very good and I really? do like a Dole Whip, but... All these other things are, I would be much more upset. I know. It's kind of funny that I'm putting like a freaking snack at my hey, number four. It's your list. But like it your is. list. It's my list. It's my must do's. I must get a Dole Whip when we are in the Magic Kingdom. Your list. You do what you want, baby. Mm-hmm. Your turn. Number four, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 We kind of already talked about it. We both love Pirates. Yeah. 10 out of 10 attraction. Yeah. I would be like so sad if we couldn't do Pirates. Yeah, that would never happen. Yeah. Yeah, it, the, See? that's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, I feel like I should have put Pirates higher on my list, maybe. But anyways, anyway. uh, I'll go on to my number three, because that was really quick, because we oh, were sure, talking yeah. about it. Yeah. And I am going to put Splash Mountain slash Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I... Did you put it on? No. Because I, I am sticking by what is open right now. I'm not. 
<laughs> because... <laughs> Well, I did pin trading, so I have fair. <laughs> yeah, that attraction is a 10 out of 10. And I put it on, I, even though they're changing it, because they're not actually changing the ride. The physical, they're changing like, the bare bones. Yeah, yeah, they're changing the appearance and like the story and all that. But the ride is the ride. Yeah. And it is just so much fun. Yeah. Florida is a thousand <laughs> degrees. 90% of the time. All the time. <laughs> and you just go there, you get a little bit wet cools you down Mm -hmm. like it's the queue is is well we'll see the new queue but yeah he was not bad um it's so fun it's just fun it's fun yeah that 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 ride is is so like i could talk about the ride for like splash splash mountain is my favorite ride like i will say i just i don't have it on the list like i said because i was just going on things like open right now Mm -hmm. um but i have no doubt in my mind that that will still continue to be my favorite ride Mm -hmm. in all of Walt disney world um yeah, I just think they do an insane job at like, yeah, like they just have every type of aspect in that ride. Yeah. It's a dark ride. It's a water ride. It's thrill a ride. thrill ride. It's a roller coaster. Like it's literally everything. So it's great. I love and the, Splash. And the view too, like a, like you, you kind of get that view at a couple of times when you're coming around yep, the you corners. Yeah, you get the beautiful view of the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of a beautiful view, want to know what my number three is? What is it? Can you guess? No. Talking about a beautiful view of the beautiful Cinderella Castle. It's the People Mover. The People Mover. If you guys remember that the one, it was Austin's number nine. Yeah, nine. It's my number three. Yeah. I love the People Mover. I think that that is just like, like Austin was saying, like you go through all these other attractions and like he would be more interested in seeing the other attractions. But like, I just love the behind the scenes things. And like, if I can get what? No. So and so do I. Like, I don't no, know. I know you do, but I'm just like, even if I can get a freaking little, little little nugget of a behind the scenes moment and I can feel like it's a behind the scenes thing, sign me up. I love yep. it. I love how long it is. Like, I love the like length of this attraction. I love everything about it. When you kind of come around, you go around Tomorrowland. Again, it's one of those ones that's like pure Disney magic for me. And it's just like very nostalgic in a way. Mm-hmm you're never waiting for that ride also like it's just one of those ones that you're like we need to kill 20 minutes let's just pop on the people mover yeah. you know we do it multiple times in a trip like yeah. you can ride it all the time like it's yeah. just so good I, mean, I, I can't i have nothing bad to say about it, it yeah having it as my number nine was it's tough like i no, i was like sure. i knew i was gonna like it, it was one of those ones for where sure. i said it and i was like eesh like for this sure. doesn't feel 100 percent right but I don't know. Looking at the other stuff. I get it. And and it is. It's not one of those thrill rides. It's not something that's like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. But it's just, again, it's a nostalgia thing. Oh, it's thing. Disney. It's Disney. Like It's, it's a, Disney. It's exactly. 100%. Exactly. I, and I, I do agree. Yeah. Number two. Do you have the same? Probably. Haunted Mansion? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, if you don't have Haunted Mansion on your list, you're crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Haunted Mansion, 10 out of 10. Wouldn't change anything about it absolutely adore that red i want to start a haunted mansion pin collection yeah <laughs> yeah i love the haunted mansion it is so good like everything about it from the outside from when you're walking up like where it's placed in like liberty square and it's like or no is it is it liberty square yeah it's liberty yeah. square yeah. where it's placed in liberty square the, the outside corner. of it like mm-hmm. you literally do not see the building like you don't see the attraction you don't see the attraction building sorry whoa <laughs> you don't see the attraction building like you only see this freaking scary ass house outside and you're just like oh it's creepy and then you go inside and it's like from the second you walk from the second you even look at that queue you're like i am in this ride and like the cast members do such a good job the stretching room is so good like i am somebody who i totally get taken out by other guests okay in the uh-huh. pre-show, in the pre-show of like Gal- uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, drives me crazy when they people drinkers. when people talk in that freaking pre-show. I'm just like, shut up! Like I don't like, please. I don't know why it takes me out so much. The at uh, Animal Kingdom, the freaking safari. If your kid is acting up on that freaking safari vehicle i am just driven crazy Day ruined day ruined <laughs> but, but there is something about the haunted mansion that like even when people are like <laughs> this window this chamber <laughs> has no windows and no t-. i'm like i don't care i yeah. love it i i don't and that's how i know that it is just like truly one of my favorite attractions like it is so good 10 out of 10 song 
Oh, so Grim good. Grinning Ghost. So good. Such a good song. It's the ballroom so scene is just so good. so cool. And honestly, it's so funny. There's like there's a tour you can do at Magic Kingdom. It's called the Keys to the Kingdom tour. It's like an eight hour. It's like an eight hour tour or something. You go all the behind the scenes stuff of Magic Kingdom and like whatever. Die. We at some point are going to do it. We want to do it so bad. But literally one of the top reasons why I want to do it is because you can you get to go underneath of the Haunted Mansion and like see how that scene works. And like I know how it works, but like yeah. it would just be so cool to see it. To like actually physically see it. Yeah. Because we've yeah. watched all the like behind the, the scenes behind the stuff. scenes. Yeah. So anyways, it's just like so fun. I yeah. just love the Haunted Mansion. I think it's I think it's great. It makes me yeah. so happy. I oh, love yeah. it. I love yeah. it so much. It's so good. It, it is perfectly rated, I think, in Disney um fandoms too yeah. like like i think it is perfectly like they put out enough merch of it they put out like enough people love it like yeah they just like i don't ever hear people hating on the haunted mansion absolutely would not change a word uh a single thing single thing about that attraction no me neither even just like the small details of like the little um graveyard outside yeah and Pet like cemetery it, yeah. yeah and it's got like you know like uh, the whole just the whole thing yeah it's so good it's ten so out good of ten. disney lore to a t with that attraction yeah. Sure. oh yeah and the number one on both of our lists three it's two one happily, happily ever after, after. <laughs> like how can you not like for us like how can oh, you not put this as number impossible one? yeah number one it is just like happily ever after is like one of those <laughs> she's already crying here we go Woohoo! <laughs> if you can't see in the video the eyes are I'm just like, swelling. I'm just like, oh, I just need to go back. I just love this show. I just love this show so much. I even think about it and I start crying. It's like so good. Yep. It is so good. And like, I have to tell you, like, I was a Wishes stan. Oh, yeah. Like, I we, Austin has never watched Wishes before. Nope. But we watched the we live watched stream the last of The Last stream. Wishes. Yes. <laughs> she was preparing for like weeks. We were preparing to watch this and i live was stream. so nervous i was yep. like i am so nervous that i'm not gonna like this new show like i love wishes so much and it's just so good and i'm just like i'm so scared and then we went and saw happily ever after on our honeymoon and i think that was also just like what yeah no yeah yeah like, like we didn't watch it live or like i we waited to watch it like until we went and saw it because we saw it that same year that it got released yeah um but we waited and we watched it together for the first time. And it was just like, I was in a puddle. Like, I was oh, yeah. in an ocean of tears. Oh, yeah. Like, it was just crazy. But it is just so <laughs> when, stunning. When the boat and Flynn and Rapunzel are on oh, the boat and the lanterns are going up, you're just... <laughs> oh, just crying. Because if you don't know, that was like the song that I walked down the aisle to when we got married. And like, it was just like one of those things. It's like, oh, man. But it is so good. I think that the fireworks of it... And this is what gets a lot of flack is like there's not a lot of physical fireworks. And it's a show. But it's exactly. Show. It is. It's a show. You have to get a good spot to be able to see the castle. You need to see the castle projections to make it all work like for you to get the full experience. Like obviously yeah. like we like to kind of watch it from different like. The song is a 10 out of 10. It's so good. Don't care. Yeah. Love that song. Yeah. It is so good. We listen to the song in the car all the time. Especially like, as when a we duet. go, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'm, I am Jordan Fisher when we listen to that song. And I am the girl. I don't remember her name. Ooh, sorry. I don't know. We're just, we just love Jay Fish. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, I feel it's, like I know it. No, it is so good though, and it's like, it's just, yeah. I think it's great. I do. I think it's great. I am so. I know at some point they will take it away. Like, and I get it. That, they'll, that they will take it away. Angie K. Angie K. Thank you. Angie K. Love ya. I'm you in the car when we do the yeah. duet. Um, but yeah, like I know at some point they're going to take it away because they always have to like reinvent the fireworks show. But like they tried. They did try and it was not <laughs> good <laughs> in my opinion. And I just I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. Yeah. No, like like just everything about it. When that castle is like flaming burning down yeah. and then the narrator just comes back and he's just reigniting <laughs> oh the the waterworks Remember. are just flowing <laughs> at that part my the biggest part for me that i cry 
I also like sorry this is like giving spoilers i guess oh, it's, to the, the show. show is so old it's but fine. the the part that i got the most is the freaking uh the tarzan <laughs> <part>. <laughs> i'm like it's like literally a speck, yeah, it's a speck of time and the freaking <laughs> thing and it's like as soon as it starts i'm just like Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good and then tinkerbell goes flying around down oh just <sighs> Caitlin, don't listen. I'm going to tell your sister not to listen to this episode. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't want her to be spoiled. Yeah. She probably already knows that, though. She's seen no, all of her stories for years. She, maybe. But she doesn't know when it happens. No. Anyways, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful show. And I really do think, like, if you're going to Disney World, if you it's, can't it's miss... It's worth the sweat pit to yeah. wait for that show. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing show. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, we just put a lot of value on that show and our whole experience of watching that show like we get our spot super early we have our dinner we people watch we this is why i like, didn't put casey's at not like in my top 10 was because like it, like casey's to me is good because like we have it when we go to watch the fireworks like yeah. it's not casey's on its own isn't like my favorite thing in the world yeah but, but like, that's what we always get yeah the vibes, for a reason right like we vibes. don't go to cosmic rays yeah, 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 yeah. No, we don't go to Christmas. Right? Like, <laughs> so it's there is something about Casey's. Yeah, for sure. But I get how some, like, some people just don't put the value on spending the time. Because realistically, like, if you're only going to Disney once every four years, five years, maybe you only take your kids once or twice yeah. in, like, their childhood. childhood. Like, maybe you don't want to wait for two hours for a really good firework spot and then you're standing way back on main street can't really see the projections right like i i i I do understand that 100 percent. but for us we just love it love it and i will say like yeah like we've definitely gotten sometimes where like we've rolled up last minute and we've gotten fine spots but like like and when people say like you don't have to wait like people are crazy for waiting it's like i just think like people prioritize different things like i'm not gonna wait 70 minutes for seven doors mine train and somebody else will i will wait two hours for yeah and and like we are lucky enough to be able to go as often as we can and know that we're going to be able to go in the future as often as we can so spending the time waiting having a break like yeah it doesn't feel as bad yeah right like so that aspect of it is very personalized and individualized for everyone specifically who's going but in our situation in our situation we stand happily ever after and we will yep. wait all day if it takes <laughs> yep <laughs> i love it i love it so much all right that's the list that was the list i was gonna say do you have any like um like honorable mentions but i really feel like we were touching on all the honorable mentions because as my, we were going through my honorable mentions were on your list and, and your honorable were, mentions yeah, were on my list literally i was gonna say the one more that i don't know if it really oh. deserves an honorable mention but i'm gonna give it one because it's really fun we normally have a really good experience here is laugh floor oh okay we do love a laugh floor but that one is very hit or miss i feel like if like you get a good I mean, they're always of, funny. They are always, always funny, funny, but, but, it's but like, the guests need to kind of be like on board. Yeah, yeah. To make it work. Yeah, they have to. But we always have fun there. So I know. was gonna say the honorable mention that I'm kind of shocked that neither one of us had on. Do you think you know what it is? No. Um, Big Thunder Mountain. Oh yes, I literally just thought of that one yeah. <laughs> before you said it because I was thinking I only had one mountain on and it's the one that's not even open. <laughs> yeah, I know. And yeah, exactly. I had one mountain on, but yeah, like I. I do love Big Thunder Mountain. My reason I didn't put it in my top 10 was because I was just thinking like if you're sitting in the front two thirds of that train, it's like so slow. <laughs> just waiting for the go. back to go over the hill. Yeah. If you're if you're going on Thunder Mountain, go on the back. Ask for the back. The queue is hell. It's hot. Hate it. Hot, hot, hot. Trash. Hot, hot, hot. hot go left hot. or right. Don't care. Don't want to be there. <laughs> don't want to be in that queue no it is so hot like it, it's like there's cactuses outside of the that queue and you you're are like in the desert you're like i i am <laughs> yes i am in the desert oh yeah it's crazy how like literally it's like whoa <laughs> it's yeah like, no I'll, I'll pass on that one. yeah honestly go at the end of your day and you won't have to wait you won't or have to stand in the heat you, for some reason if you want to rope drop it go yeah. for that don't do it in the middle of the day it is hot 
Yeah. It's a hot boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do love Big Thunder, but it's hot. Yeah. No, it's not like it's bad. It would be in my 11 to 15. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's wrap this baby up. This was a quicker episode. Wrap it up. I feel like this was like a quicker, yeah, quicker man. podcast just episode. Just under an hour. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, we will be doing all of our top tens for each of the parks. Don't know if they'll all be back yep. to back, um, but they will. They will be coming. Um, so yeah, let us know if you're watching on YouTube. Let us know what your some of your top tens are in Magic Kingdom. If you are listening on podcasts, give us Apple, a, Spotify, Mike Up Magic Podcast. Yep. Give Instagram. us Instagram. Magically Caitlin, Magically Ozzy, or Miked Up Magic Podcast. Yes. Um, if you have any comments, feedback, let us know on any of those platforms. Honestly, doesn't matter where. Oh, I, um, I was like, why are you like totally going off right now? But I get it. It's because you were telling them where we're, wrapp- they were listening. We're wrapping it up. You, I know. You were talking about YouTube. So then I brought up the other one. Okay. Okay. And then I was also just going to say, give us a rating. Yeah. Give us a rating on Apple and Spotify. Yep. If you can um, rate it how you want. I don't care. Read no. it how you want. Don't care. Hey. If you want to give us a one star, give us a one star. What's the saying? Uh, bad, bad attention is at least atten- What's what's the one I'm trying to say? I don't know. I know what you're trying to say, but I don't feel like trying to figure it out. Mm, anyways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> and for listening. Hope you enjoyed, and we will see you in our next one. Peace. Bye. Love you. Thank <laughs> you.